What's up guys, it's DJH Skating back with another shoe review. Today we're going to be looking at a DC shoe from this guy on the box, Josh Kalis, um, the man, the legend. But yeah, we're going to take a look at the DC SE Kalis signature. Um, the shoe is like one of four kind of signature shoes Kalis has out at the moment on DC. You've got the OG one, which was released I think a year ago. Um, but that, you know, still one of his kind of signature shoes. We've got the SE, which we're going to take a look at just in a moment. Um, we've got the Light, and we also got the Volk. Okay, I'll try and you know get the shoes so we can do a review on them because it'll be cool to like you know. Um, run through them all because they all take some sort of inspiration from the OG shoes which is cool you know they're not they're the shoes in their own right um, and I know Kayla skates all of them because he always gets asked that on Instagram he's like what what shoe do you like what shoe do you skate do you skate the OGs do you skate the lights do you skate the Volks um, and he's like yeah you skate all of them and I, you know he put stuff up and he does get all of them I see him in the Volks I see him in the SEs I see him in the lights and I've seen him in the OGs. I think I see him more in the lights. I think that's probably, I reckon that's the shoe he prefers, but yeah, he says he skates all of them, which is cool. Um, but yeah, this is what you get. This is the box it comes in. I think the box is dope. Uh, I think it's cool. It kinda, I think it's kind of remake to what the boxes did kind of look like when you used to get kind of signature shoes. So, you know, it's him skating through. It might even be the shoe that he's skating in that picture uh, because it's got the, the same sole thing. But again, look at the box bashed up i mean come on so annoying when you i don't know it's just a, it's just so annoying when you order a shoe and the box is just bashed it's like god what's happened to it just look after it but let's take a quick look that's what it looks like boom the Kalis se like i said it takes some inspirations from some of the og shoes especially the og one like this part here and also this part here but yeah, it's a nice shoe. Here you've got a one-piece toe kind of cap thingy. Um, this has got kind of air vents in the suede, but yeah, it's a suede upper. Um, you know, you've got suede here, suede here, um, suede on the inside. Obviously the white kind of part of the shoe, um, this bit here is leather. It's also got leather on the tongue there where it says uh, DC Shoe Coat USA with a little um, tongue Pulley majiggy, never know what to call them to be fair. Um, it's got kind of like um, mesh around the sides to protect your protect the ankle, um, which is kind of like a grey colour, like a cool grey. You got this um, what do you call it, a rubbery bit at the back to hold the whole shoe in together. It's got Kalis's kind of signature logo from DC there with a DC sign. And you've also got a DC sign on the side here, which I think is pretty cool on the inside like that. Um, it's like a cup sole shoe, so it isn't like a Volk or anything like that. It is a Unilite construction in terms of the sole, which gives it, you know, stability and durability, which is nice. You've also got black laces, and you also on the tongue, it's got the meshiness as well. So in terms of the shoe, um, oh sorry, and the bottom is gum, and it's got DC Shoe Co USA at the bottom as well. In terms of my first impression of the shoe, and actually having tried it on, it is a very sturdy shoe. It humps your foot really well. Um, I think just the design overall, it's supposed to keep your foot really hugged when doing tricks, which I can imagine being a very, very good thing. The tongue itself is like it's like it's joined onto the actual shoe, which helps that have that you know it helps the shoe to have that sort of effect. So there isn't really any tongue straps in there. It's just like really hugged. It's just like sewed onto the shoe, as you can kind of see here. Like it isn't. It's all like one thing. And like you know, this will never really move side to side unless your foot moves side to side type of thing because it's like sewn all together, which is cool. Um, it's definitely not a big shoe in any sort of stretch of the mind. It's kind of a, I would say it's a very, I would say it's a slim type of shoe. Even though it might look big on the camera, it is slim when you put it on. Um, it doesn't feel like a, a big shoe in my opinion. It kind of looks kind of cool though. It looks like one of his old OG shoes. But yeah, black laces. It's not too light, you know, it should be an average weight. Let's take a look at the insole, I can get it out. These things are nightmare <laughs> to get out. Um, yeah, this one's gonna be. Uh, there we go. 
So it's the same same kind of material used on the uh, the Legacy Slim, which I, I took a I did a, like a first impressions of. The only difference is it's got Kalitz's signature logo on the front there. Um, again, they say that this is going to absorb impact when doing stuff downstairs and big drops, and um, it will just help protect the bottom of your foot when doing tricks. Where have I, like I said, mm, does it, does it really? It seems very flimsy to me, it seems very thin, so, I don't know, I don't know. You know, they're the experts, I mean, they make shoes all the, all the time, so, and I'm, you know, I'm questioning it. Just a, you know, a guy from the UK. But, you know, it's my impressions. But uh, apart from that, it's a nice shoe. Um, it's got like a nice retro kind of 90s design to it. Um, it's Kalis, man. Like he's he's a legend. He's sick. Uh, but yeah, check it out. They do loads of different colorways in this shoe. Multiple, multiple, multiple colorways. I really want to get the OG colorways um, just to like fit in with the the design of it. But um, I couldn't find some in my size. I've got two of these shoes. And two different colorways but i wasn't able to find like the white og ones you know like the uh, the dc case og ones like the gray ones and the white ones are trying to find those two colorways in this but i wasn't able to find them in my size so i just went with this colorway and i also went for another kind of a black um colorway but with a different kind of design to it with like a clear style which i thought was pretty cool but yeah check them out they're a good shoe um i haven't scared it yet so i don't know what to make of it um, but I am planning to skate this when I can skate, obviously it's winter at the moment and working and all that stuff, being an adult, so it's just difficult to skate all the time. Um, but yeah, thanks again guys for watching, I appreciate the time you spend watching me. Um, if you could subscribe, that'd be brilliant, like, comment, share, all the good stuff, okay? I'm going to be putting other videos at the end of this video, so check them out. So if, if you like DC shoes, check out my review on the DC Slim 98 because that might interest you and also check out the DC Legacy OG video that I have that might interest you as well and I'd really appreciate if you could check them out also but yeah peace guys this is DJ H Skate we out Woo!